all right y'all we are back with another video and here we go again how many times do we constantly have to listen to jessica tarlive always talking about donald trump this is all this woman does she already went on air talking about she agree and she believe what E. Jean Carroll said about Donald Trump, about Donald Trump touching her, talking about she believe him. So this woman just goes on record. She kind of remind me of the view. She, she just always got something bad to say about Donald Trump. And she slandered Donald Trump name just as much as anybody else do as well. Because remember, Judge Janine went off on her and then Jesse Waters went off up on her. So it's getting to this point now where I'm hearing again from uh, Doug. It seemed like Jesse Waters finna step right back in again and go off on Jessica Tarlov. Because why? Because she can't stop talking bad about Donald Trump. She know good well that this case between him and Letitia James, she know good and well that they had already predicted what they was going to do to Donald Trump. The, the case was pretty much already done before it even started. Jessica Tarlov knows that. A lot of people on the left know that, but they don't care because they just don't want Donald Trump to win. And that's the crap that we are sick of. That's what we sick of. They won't call it down the middle. Even if you don't like Donald Trump, tell the truth. Just say, hey, I don't like Donald Trump, but they did him wrong there because he didn't owe anybody. He don't owe no banks. He don't owe nobody. So he shouldn't be having to pay no $355 million. But you get people like Jessica Tarlov, she won't call it out. Why? Because she don't like Donald Trump. And this is what we all sick of. Like I said, make sure y'all hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Shout out to everybody showing so much support. Everybody be leaving positive comments in the comment section. I also want to uh, shout out to everybody who clicked on the video for the very first time. I appreciate all of you. If you can do me a favor, please hit that like button so more people can see Jessica Tarlov make a fool of herself like she always does. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and dive straight into it. We'll leave the original video in the description. Make sure y'all go show Doug some love. He's doing a great job over there. Let's go. The five ways in on the Trump getting fined hundreds of millions of dollars by Judge Angeron without a trial. And of course, Jessica Tarloff, who has lost her mind. Yes. New York could be ruined as a business state. And we're going to find out why. Welcome to mm -hmm. Doug in Exile. I'm Doug Tenapel. This is where the happy patriots are. This decision, in quotes, is a complete and total sham. There were no victims, no damages, no complaints, only satisfied banks right. and insurance companies, in quotes, in parentheses, rather, which made a ton of money. Now, that was Trump on Truth Social. This yeah. is Letitia James, how she ran to get Trump. I will never be afraid to challenge this illegitimate president. Illegitimate, illegitimate president. That's dog whistle for election denier. She believes in the big lie. Letitia James is another election denier claiming that when Trump won in 2016, that he was an illegitimate president. This is when they were pushing all the Russia, Russia, Russia stuff. But Donald Trump was convicted of this before we got today's sentence to today's sentencing. The judge had already by the found judge, the by just the judge. I, I, but that is yeah, how the it, system works. So then change. Okay, the okay her first works. defense is this is how the system what? works. This is the system, guys. Oh One God. judge, no jury, found Trump guilty. And when does a Democrat start defending the system? The I thought system. they were supposed to overturn the system. What happened to power to the people? Of um, inflating assets between $812 million and $2.2 .2 billion. And I understand on the appeals front, and it will go to appeal, he has 30 days to do it, and I think his lawyer already has, that they are going to have to, as the judge said, prove that somebody was actually wronged by this. Someone actually being wronged? How about Trump was wrong? Yes. He was so wrong. Yeah, they're going to get this thing appealed, but we don't know how corrupt the New York corruption goes all the way up to the appeals court, all the way up to the state Supreme Court. Defrauded people, not paid his bills. I mean, this is what happened in the 2016 election when Hillary had a slew of ads about how he stiffs everyone from contractors, people who work in his buildings, et cetera. And this is the character of the man. These are huge inflations to get cushier interest rates. I mean, saying that his apartment in Trump Tower is 33,000 square feet when it's really 11,000. This is what Jessica Tarloff <laughs> oh says God. gets someone fined $400 million in New York, saying your your apartment is 33,000 square feet instead of 11,000. Is that some kind of a sick burn? Worth Again, no victim here. No victims. There's no crime. Right. Mar-a-Lago, his tax broker, said $27 million 
ranks it as a social club when he's running around saying it could be a billion dollars. It's actually five five hundred seventeen million dollars. They're consistent lies. They are trying to I understand people just because Deutsche Bank got richer doesn't mean that it's wrong. Political implications. I happen to think and have said this since the beginning that no trials or convictions will matter except for things like in Georgia. And obviously that is complicated this week by what's going on with Fonnie Willis. So she's saying the only place this matters is going to be in Georgia. Wow. But now brings up Fonnie Willis has screwed up in her case. So even the best case scenario of what she hopes will happen with this election, that it will turn people away yeah, from Trump because yeah. he's been convicted it's of not something happen. or fined for something. And it's not going to work. It's not. Outside of New York. And New York would be an uphill climb for right. Trump anyways to win. It's not going to affect Georgia. Fannie Willis is going to affect Georgia. And the people are learning a whole lot about Fannie Willis exactly. right now. But he does better in the primary. But if you look at, and we talked about this in Iowa and New Hampshire, when you talk to voters about what's going to happen in a general election and if he is convicted of something, 32% in Iowa said they won't vote for him. Over 50% in New Hampshire said they won't vote for him. People don't want to vote for a felon. That's not entirely true because of the way that they worded those things. The way right. that they worded those polls were, would you vote for a felon? Of course, the answer is no if you're in Iowa or New Hampshire. Would you vote if Trump was falsely accused and convicted of a felony? Falsely. Right. They'd all say, well, of course I'd vote for someone who was falsely accused. So the question is not, is he a felon? It's was he rightly accused or was he uniquely pointed out for a political hit political job? And I think hunt. that's where the American people will surprise you, especially in Iowa. The Iowa people are going to vote for Trump in spite of these fake convictions. New Hampshire might go for him, too. You might get a surprise. See, and that's the thing, though. Jessica Tarla, she like she literally just sitting up there spewing that bull crap. Just spewing it. Oh, that's just how the system works. Because we already knew that Judge Ngoron and Letitia James, they already knew what was going to happen. They already knew what they was going to do. They said it before it even started. They already knew it. And she's sitting up there talking about, that's just how the system works. When did y'all start thinking like that? Also, now, since it's Donald Trump, that's how the system works. See, that's what I be talking about. That what we waiting on is when they say, Jessica Tarloff, you're fired. That's what I'm waiting to hear. This woman just sit up here and just spew, just, just spew mess. I, I mean, the hate she has for Donald Trump, she might as well just join The View. She might as well just go over there and join Joy Behar and Whoopi Goldberg them because they all they do is sit over there and spew that same hate and jealousy. They cannot stand to see Donald Trump win anything. Anytime he wins, they got to go live on air and try to tell the American people why we shouldn't vote for Trump. I don't care what nobody say to me, whether it's on the Internet, whether it's in real life, ain't a darn thing going to stop me for voting for Trump. And that's just what it is. I don't care what they say. Because, I, I mean, this man is being treated badly. You even got a, a bigger people now. I think well, I think his name is Kevin O'Leary. You got a lot of people saying they ain't even going to buy business in uh, New York. They scared to do it because of this corrupt system. They literally let somebody like a Letitia James just walk in there and do somebody like Donald Trump like this. This man didn't even owe anybody. I mean, they even said that Deutsche Bank, they even confessed about it, said that we did good business with Trump and we still do business with him. He don't owe anybody. He don't owe a person. He don't owe a business. He don't owe anybody. They even paid interest when he did. Oh, he paid interest on top of that. So what's the problem? You know, that's just what it is. It's a corrupt system that they letting these people get away with. That's exactly what it is. But like I've said before, I've said this plenty of time, Letitia James and that judge, they got away with it, but they didn't get away with it. And that's just what it is. Let's get back to it. Is out of there. They don't want to vote for a criminal. Right now, he can coast along and say, this is about bias against me. 
You it know, is. I've never taught Gigi and Carol, he even though he owes $83 million for doing that and then defaming her. Um, so I. Uh, okay. So you saying uh, he's saying he didn't do this and he defamed her. What's more of a defame when you got a woman that's d d like her that coming out saying that this man did something to her? Ain't she defaming him? So it's the fame when he when he trying to protect himself and say something back. So if he say something back to a person that's trying to put charges on him, that means he's defaming her. I mean, I just don't get it. And she and see the thing is, Jessica knows this crap. She knows it. But you know, when a person don't like somebody, they don't care about the truth because they don't like them. I mean, it just don't make sense. If this woman can go around and say that this man did this, this man did that, and Trump say something back to her that's not in her favor, oh, now he's defaming her. You know how corrupt the system is? You know how corrupt Judge uh, Kaplan was? The man was so corrupt that he didn't even want Donald Trump to go to his own mother's law funeral. That's how corrupt the system is. That judge didn't even care about that. And Jessica knows this crap, but they won't admit it. That's why you got people like me, Doug, Benny, all of us. We'll admit it for you. We'll, we'll tell you. Don't. I think it does hurt him in the end, but not in this primary. He'll be even more of a juggernaut. Remember, they people proposed that it would hurt him in his primary, and it did not. That's why Nikki Haley and Ron DeSantis yep. ran. I thought it was going to hurt him. They were hoping it would hurt him but in it the primary. Didn't. It didn't hurt him in the, in the primary. Surprise, all the people that predicted it were wrong about the primary. The same people that predicted he'd be hurt in the primary said he will be hurt definitely in the general. I don't believe he'll be hurt in the general either. The same thing is going to happen. People are going to realize he's been falsely accused. And Americans don't just blindly go, hey, we believe the government. We believe that this New York Judge Ingram, there was nothing biased about it at all. No, wow. I yes, think even will. some New Yorkers are going to go, hey, Guido, hey, forget about it. This is a crime. This ain't right. They didn't do right by Trump. Well, you're saying that people won't vote for a criminal. You're criminalizing him. Right. All of these Democrats are just indicting him. Yep. And then you'll get a conviction, and then they'll get appealed, and they'll go to the court. You're, you're ruining the process. You say this is how the system works, Jessica. This has never been how the system works. In the history of New York State, the Associated Press investigated, there has never been a case like this. And this is where Jesse Waters and the five start to destroy what Jessica... Exactly. I knew it was coming. Y'all remember, I told y'all, Jesse Waters went off on her a few weeks ago about this crap. Judge Janine went off on her. Because, see, the thing is, it ain't the point that they protecting Trump. They, they trying to tell you that this ain't right. This ain't never been done before. When have you ever seen a man or a woman... They had to pay $355 million and didn't owe nobody. So you're going to go to court and got to pay $355 million when you didn't owe a bank or a person. You didn't owe anybody and got to pay three hundred. million. That just goes to show you it's a political witch hunt. They See, that's the thing is, she knows this. Jessica knows this crap. But she's sitting there acting like she's crazy or something. So this is where Jesse Water goes off. I'm going to take that back. Y'all listen to what Jesse Water just said again, because I knew it was coming. This is a crime. This ain't right. They didn't do right by Trump. Well, you're saying that people won't vote for a criminal. You're criminalizing him. All of these Democrats are just indicting him. And then you'll get a conviction and then they'll get appealed and go to the court. You're, you're ruining the process. You say this is how the system works, Jessica. This is never been how the system works. In the history of New York State, the Associated Press investigated, there has never been a case like this. And this is where Jesse Waters and the five start to destroy mm -hmm. what Jessica Tarloff is trying to say. These are Democrats keep saying, look, this is a normal legal process in this court case. Right, just, right. That's what they be saying, Doug. They be saying that it's normal because it's against the person they don't like. Later would have been against Joe Biden. Later would have been against one of them Democrats. Oh, they would have been like, oh, man, why are they doing this? Why are they doing this? But since it's Donald Trump, oh, it's the right way. That's just the way they're trying to look at it. Completely abnormal. It is utterly deformed. It is ruinous for America. Mm -hmm. And Americans who care about this country that is patrons are not going to fall for it.
Are New Yorkers that dumb? Let me know in the comments below. Are they dumb enough to fall for this? Even Democrats? They're going to go, oh, this is this is normal. No, it's not. No, it's simple. It's normal. There's no people that are complaining about getting swindled who are Trump's working for the Trump has organization. has been ripped off all of the buildings along the West Side Highway. And, and you <laughs> see now, she just got through talking. They let her talk for damn near five minutes. And Jesse Waters can't even finish his statement without her wanting to jump in and talk about Donald Trump again. I mean, that's what they do when they see this, what they do when they start hearing the truth about Donald Trump. This is what they don't like. They try to cut you off and try to explain why you should down Donald Trump. This is what she do. The man can't even finish his statement. Normal. Sure, it's simple. It's normal. There's no people that are complaining about getting swindled who are Trump's working for the Trump organization. Trump's name has been ripped off all of the buildings along the West Side Highway. Okay. These people don't want to live in something with the man's name on you it. You were talking about so partisan activists in Manhattan. Away. All of Upper West Side all are just partisan You're talking about... They, they took his golf club away. People love that course. Have you played it? You'd love it. If you could play golf, you'd love it, Jessica. I can't. I'm you a tennis woman. You probably shoot under par. This is just politics of we want to move out of his building because we don't like him. Yeah, as a yeah that's It has lot. nothing to do with what he actually did. This is a different form of canceling someone and boycotting someone is mm -hmm. all Trump is facing. And what we're going to learn in America is we're more and more divided based on politics. You can't, I can't do business in New York. You'd be crazy to open a business in New York or DC. Elon Musk had to leave his, leave DC and reincorporate down in uh, Texas. People are learning America is politicized and the left half is broken because mm -hmm. they're so bigoted against the other side that you can't even conduct normal business in their state boundaries. i Shout out to you, Doug. Another great video. Let's go, man. Uh, like I said before, y'all heard what I had to say. Salute to Doug. He do a great job. Uh, salute to him. I've said this plenty of times. Uh, this is why I promote Doug on my channel. Love his content. Love his videos. Uh, and obviously, y'all love his videos as well because I get a lot of y'all be like, hey, dog, please do more Doug videos. Do more Doug videos. And I do. I, I love reacting to the people that I react to, like Doug, Benny, Dr. Steve, Liberal High Mind. I mean, I just love reacting to their videos. And a lot of you always say, keep doing it. Keep bringing us this content. And I appreciate all of you. But at the same time, we are so sick of Jessica, man. Like, the Trump derangement syndrome runs deep, boy. I tell you, I, I tell you the truth. But she definitely needs to go uh, go over there and be uh be on the view with them because you know they share the same ideas about Trump. But uh, like I said, y'all let me know what y'all think about this. But uh, I really think it. Like I said, Trump is going to appeal it. I don't think he's gonna have to pay no three hundred fifty five million. It, let's just say if Trump was to lose, I still don't see him paying no three hundred fifty five million. But he's not gonna lose. He didn't owe anybody. So there's no way. That, that he can lose this. Who did, who did he owe to have to pay $355 million? This ain't never been done before. So, like I said, we shall see. New Y'all know if the news come, I will bring it to y'all. Make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.